What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of my next gen career mode. This is episode number 71 and we start today's episode off by seeing that Kevin Volland wants to play in this game against Bayer Leverkusen here uh, on the weekend at the Olympia Stadium but he got on the bench. Um, this game was being played uh, just a few days before the uh, big game against Bayern Munich in the Champions League semi-final second leg but to be honest I still decided to play as strong a side as possible coming into this game because at the end of the day you know right now we have have a really really good chance of winning the league and I don't want to sacrifice that for anything there was no way I was going to play a backup side knowing that we are in touching distance of our first Bundesliga title in this series so we take on Bayer Leverkusen they've got a really good side and you know I, I struggle against Bayer Leverkusen quite a lot in uh, in this next gen career mode you would have seen we, we lost to them this season at uh, away from home we lost to them, I think we lost home and away last season as well, so we take them on here, and you know, despite the fact we would still be favourites, they are a real, real threat to us, and they did have the first chance at the, the game in the 14th minute, but thankfully Ter Stegen made a really good save, and in the 28th minute we had a free kick here, Marco Royce stands over the ball, I drilled it into a uh, six-yard box, trying to get a scramble, but Begovic makes a good stop, and uh, Bayer Leverkusen get the ball away, and just for half-time here, the uh, last chance of the half would fall to us, as Nico Schultz gets onto the ball, the Bayer Leverkusen players seem to tackle themselves. It comes back to Nico Schultz, who swings it across, but it's an absolutely fantastic save by Begovic to the nice Sydney Sam. What a save that is! And uh, Sydney Sam cannot score against his former club. There, incredible stop by the Bosnian goalkeeper, and it's tipped over the bar for a corner. And from that corner, Royce crosses the ball in. It's up in the air. It comes to Schurler. Schurler gives it to Goretzka, who strikes it. But unfortunately, it's a simple save for Begovic, and it is still scoreless. And the second half here, by Leverkusen had a chance to start brightly in the 53rd minute, and unfortunately, they took it as well. Son with the free kick, and he makes it 1-0. A great strike by the Korean, and we're 1-0 down in the 53rd minute. And it was such a shame as well. That was the first chance of the second half. I conceded the free kick. And what a brilliant free kick it was. I mean, there's, you know, free kicks in career mode aren't often scored. You know, whether they're from you, unless you're a really good set piece taker, I'm not. Um, you know, free kicks aren't often scored, you know, by yourself if you're not a very good set piece taker like me. Or even the AI. The AI don't score too many free kicks, but there's been two scored against us this season. Uh, Kroos and now Son, both really good free kicks. That's a great strike by the Korean. And unfortunately, we are behind, and we'd have to wait until the 84th minute before we could get ourselves back in the game with a chance here. Nico Schultz gives the ball to Sydney Sam. Sam collects the ball, and Ronaldo chops past his man and sprints down the left hand side using his pace, swings it across towards the far post. Herman plays it into the Soga, and it's a simple save for Begovic. That was a great chance, but the free header went straight into the Bosnian's gloves. And in the 89th minute, another late chance for us here is by Leverkusen. A pass the ball out from the back. They give the ball away. Reinhardt strikes it but he can't score. Begovic makes another good save, and Lasoga flicks it back. Goretzka collects the ball here, and I'm doing everything I can to try and score an equalising goal. I just can't seem to break down the defence, but eventually I find space and shoot, but he goes harmlessly wide and out for a goal kick, and I'm sitting there, and I'm gripping the controller tightly, because I know this is a massive, massive game for us. This really could see us, you know, effectively end all doubt that we'll win the title in this game, had we won it, but we were losing, we were now into stoppage time, and I just couldn't seem to get myself an equalising goal, and as Herman goes down the right-hand side here, the last chance would fall right at the death. Herman swings in across, Lusoga wins the header, it hits the post, it goes across the face of the goal, Lusoga can't turn the ball in, and Begovic makes one of the most incredible career mode saves you will ever see. Unbelievable stop by Asmir Begovic when it looked for all the world that Lasoga was going to blast the ball into the empty net from just millimetres from the goal line. Somehow, somehow, the former Stoke and Pompey goalkeeper manages to get back up onto his feet, dive across the face of goal and claw it away from the toes of Lasoga. Unbelievable save by Begovic. No doubt he won the man the match and you know I, I just I couldn't believe it. It's just it's it's one of those things where you sit there and think you know fine margins you know fine margins that's the best way of explaining it. Fine margins are where the game is won and lost and unfortunately it was those fine margins millimetres really from crossing on the line and Begovic pulls off an unreal save and we lose the game unfortunately to buy Leverkusen by a goal to nil and with just three games to go you know you have to say now it really does look as though Borussia Dortmund could come back and make us pay for our mistakes and not closing this uh, this season out but even so we had to put that disappointment behind us in this game against Bayern Munich here 
away at the Allianz Arena in the Champions League semi-final second leg. We come into the game holding a one goal advantage. So yes, the upper hand is with us because of course um, we kept a clean sheet in that game as well. So we've got a good chance of scoring an away goal here. But even so, despite Bayern Munich's really poor season, you still can't deny the fact they've got a really good squad and there is no doubt that they would still be fancying their chances of knocking us out and causing us Champions League semi-final heartbreak. And especially since we come on the back of losing on the weekend, that's not really good motivation is it to be honest and we did have to rest a lot of players as well because there are a lot of players that are on uh, light green and yellow stamina so you know it was going to be it was just going to be a really, really difficult game you know I knew we wouldn't come into this game and just win it with ease I knew it would be difficult but uh, the first chance this game would fall in the ninth minute here is Bayern Munich have a corner but they played it short and as Lovetti goes to cross the ball and it takes a huge deflection off William Carvalho who shut him down Yashil just about managed to chest the ball over David Alaba he's running clear one on one and a 11 minutes in, Yashil, the former Liverpool striker, makes it Bayern Munich 0, Hertha to Berlin 1, and that means that Bayern Munich must score three goals at the Allianz Arena, or they're going out of the Champions League. And again, it's fine margins. It is fine margins, because the way that Yashil won that ball, there was just centimetres and inches between Alaba getting the ball away and Yashil chesting the ball over the top of him. And it was an amazing piece of skill by Yashil. A wonderful run, and you know, I'm sorry, but Yashil on this game is such a clinical finisher. I've said many times before, pick him up for your career mode, guys. He really is a deadly striker. It's a great finish by Yashil as we went on the counter. I had total confidence in your shield to score and he did it's 1-0 to of Berlin and there's no chance of Bayern Munich coming back into this tie and that was just the early goal to not only settle the nerves but surely kill off any belief that Bayern Munich might might get themselves into this game into this tie and uh, cause a, uh, a shock victory really because of course we were going to be deciding the ascendancy so 1-0 up early on your shield gets the goal and we could have made it 2 0 in the 13th minute. Gnabry gets on the ball and crazy, plays a great ball into the box, but Herman's header goes straight into the gloves or back in thieves. So still 1 0. And in the 20th minute here, Rafini gets on the ball and finds Cartabia. Cartabia gets on the ball and they get onto his left boot, drills the, drills the ball in, but Thomas Muller in the centre can only put the ball wide and out for a goal kick. So still 1 0. And in the 25th minute, Bayern Munich get on the ball again. Bastian Schweinsteiger finds Muller who strikes it, but this time he gets it on target. However, Ter Stegen gets down to his left and tips it behind for a corner. And from that corner, again, Bayern Munich play it short. They always play it short. They cross the ball in. It's towards the centre. And the header does go into the back of the net. So, Bayern Munich get themselves back on their terms. It's Boateng who gets it. And it was one of those where the man came off the line. I was hammering circle, but nothing happened. But still, Bayern Munich back on level terms. And in the 41st minute, Cartabi gets on the ball again and finds Philippe Lahm. Lahm back heals it towards Suarez. And Luis Suarez sinks his teeth into this one and picks out the bottom corner to make it by Munich 2 Heard of Berlin 1, so there was me saying after your Shields goal, the game's over, the tie's over, we're going through to the final. Now, all Bayern Munich need is one more goal, and they're going through and we're going out. So, unfortunately for us, we've thrown it away a little bit, and Bayern Munich were back into this game. But in the 45th minute, we could have made it 2-2. Herman goes down the right-hand side, keeps on going, gets onto his right foot, drills across the face of goal, Gnabry strikes, but unfortunately it goes wide to post and out for a goal kick. So still 2-1, and still the upper hand would be with us, because, you know, just one more goal, and again, Bayern Munich got to score another two. So at the end of the day, we are still the side who are, you know, not in control, but definitely the ones who are, you know, feeling a lot more confident about the chance of going through. And they Siak and Fever having to make another good save at 2-1. And from the corner, it's crossed in by Kevin Volland. Ginter goes for the header, it's cleared away. Only as far as, uh, Her uh, sorry, Robin even. It comes to Herman even. Herman collects the ball, rolls it through towards Reinhardt. Great chance here, but holding mid shot is well sailed by Akinfeev. And as Volland crosses the ball in, William Carvalho's header is straight out of the Russian goalkeeper. So still 2-1. And in the 81st minute, well, they're at it again. Bayern Munich player set piece short. We intercept the ball, and Yashil is running clear again. It's a carbon copy of what happened in the first half. And it's the same result as well because your shield runs clear. He makes it 2 2. We're going through to the Champions League final. And again, it's just fine margins. You know, Bayern Munich give the ball away sloppily. And again, it could have been it could have been so simple for them had they not played those set pieces short. Put the ball in the box straight away from the corner. You won't have the first goal being scored against you. Put the ball in the box on a free kick straight away. You won't have the second goal being scored against you. And you'll be going through to the Champions League final. Instead, they stupidly play every single set piece short on career mode. And because of that, we charge them down. We win the ball. And we go on a counter and score. So Yashil um, makes it 2-2 here. 
We are in front on our group by three goals to two. And because of that away goal, Bayern Munich would have to score another two goals in the last ten minutes. They couldn't even manage one. We're through to the Champions League final. What a fantastic season it's been, regardless of what happens from this moment onwards. But even so, Bayern Munich, I mean, that was just embarrassing, really. It really was. And they are just so bad on this career mode. It's laughable, to be honest. But, yeah, we're through to the Champions League final. We'll be taking on Real Madrid. And, um, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted that the tactical decision to play your shield worked out well for us as well, using that pace on the counter. But as always, guys, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, please do leave a like because it's much appreciated. And it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of my next-gen career mode very soon.